End of an era. Our goodbyes not forever though. We're back tonight with our late update and Lucrezia is here next with the evening news. But from me and the rest of the London team do have a lovely weekend. Bye bye. Rebecca Vardy loses her libel case but says the judge got it wrong. Her claim against fellow footballer's wife Colleen Rooney was dismissed after the judge said it was likely she did leak information to the press. Imagine having stories written about you and your family week after week. It was so stressful for her and um, she was just determined in her Wagatha Christie way to find out who it was. It's proved to be a costly venture for Mrs Vardy, expect to be left with a multi-million pound legal bill, also tonight. A community in shock in Lincolnshire after the fatal stabbing of a nine-year-old girl. The fake pharmacy selling dangerous drugs, a whistleblower's account of how the regulator is failing to do its job. More on how the government's £400 energy discount will work, but will it be enough for struggling households? And... Alexi of England wins the first goal! It's a golden start for the home nations on the first day of the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. This is the ITV Evening News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. Rebecca Vardy says she is devastated and cannot accept losing the so-called Wagatha Christie libel trial against Colleen Rooney. Mrs Vardy brought the case against her former friend and fellow footballer's wife after she accused her of leaking stories to the Sun newspaper. In a ruling, a High Court judge said the accusation was substantially true and said much of Mrs Vardy's evidence was not Credible, And it's not clear how much Rebecca Vardy will have to pay. Some estimate it could be as much as £3 million. Pounds. Well, here's Martha Fairley on Vardy's costly own goal. Oh, tight to mesh. Um, time for our own goodbye now. Julie will be here with news at 10, but from me and the evening news team, bye-bye. Have a great weekend. There's a lot of really heavy stuff going on in the world right now and it can be tough to deal with, for some more than others. Almost half of all young people in the UK struggle with anxiety. So let's take a moment right now to check in with the young people in our lives. It can be difficult at first, but keep talking because it takes time to break through. So Britain, get talking.